I'm Kirsty Meekin from Nail Nails. In this video, we're going to do a cancer ribbon design. Now, cancer is something that has touched my life quite a lot. Shall we name them all? We might be here a while. <laughs> the first person that we lost to cancer was um, my auntie Lillian, who had breast cancer, and my auntie Lucy, we lost her and she had lung cancer that spread. Um, my granddad had cancer in his esophagus and we lost him, what, three months ago? About three months ago. Um, and my granddad was a massive inspiration to me. He is the whole reason that I am good at art. He was ama an absolute amazing artist. Um, my uncle has cancer, um, so cancer has touched our family so, so much. So this will be quite a memorable nail for me, deep down inside of it. Because I, I do have a heart and a soul. <laughs> I'm not this hard, mean woman. I am quite soft, just a little bit. I've already pushed the cuticles back. I've already removed the surface shine as well because we basically took a nail off this. We did have a nail on and now we don't. Well, a uh, nail extension anyway. We have a natural nail, still on a nail, obviously. I'm gonna do tip and overlay. So I've got a clear tip. I'm just gonna size the tip up. I want it to fit from edge to edge. And then we're gonna pop a little bit of brush on glue. And we just pop that right at the end. And a couple of mil will make contact with the nail. And just gently squeezing that. I'm going to cut the length so we don't want it massive. Just going to do an almond shaped nail. So I'm going to cut those corners off. And then I'm going to file this into shape. And I'm doing this before I blend. So if you blended this part here, if you blend it, if you might melt it in, you'd have no support. And when you start to file the nail, this free edge, it'll just put too much stress here and it'll end up popping off. I'm going to use a softer file to blend that tip a little bit. It won't need too much filing because it doesn't have a wow. It's not thick at that area. I'm going to wipe over with some acetone. This is going to help remove the dust and it'll also melt the tip slightly so it blends in even more. Because we're going to use gel, this part of the nail needs to be abrased. Now I don't want to do it with a file, I'm literally just going to take that shine off very softly using the block. That's all it'll need. It needs to be abraced because if you put a if you put gel onto something shiny, it'll separate. So the the tip and the product will separate. And so does it? So it's got something to grab to. Yeah, those little grab onto it. Yeah. Dehydrate. And we're gonna do two coats of primer. We're gonna get this is number what? Oh, UGGPA0910 So it's a silver and it's got some slight well slight I say they are there tiny tiny bits of pink in as well I'm going to do two coats of this on the tip Pop that in the lamp What I'm going to do next is wipe over with the gel res solution just on that tip. I feel like if I leave the sticky layer on, it creates a bit of a barrier between the gel and the acrylic with it being a soft gel. If it was a hard gel, it's a little bit different because it's a soft gel. You can see that gives a little bit matte as well. So it's not... 
not perfectly smooth and shiny because you can see it's dulled down a bit. You turn your hand over for me. You can still see it's really sparkly underneath. On top it's a lot duller because it's gone matte which is going to help with the acrylic sticking to it. I'm going to use Cameo today because you all say why did she just use natural beige? Well I love natural beige and it suits lots of different people. However we have lots of different colours in our cover pink range. So I'm going to use Cameo for you today. I've got a high speed liquid in here so we're going to do one beads. So nice big bead. down over the top I'm going to use another bead just at the back so you can see this is a lot paler than natural beige so if you've got a client with really pale nail beds you could use this this is also a good colour to do a transition between natural beige or warm beige and apply this colour to the tip so you get, you know, that soft graduated baby's bloomers effect. I'm just going to let that set a little bit. I'm just going to whip over with electric file just for quickness really more than anything. I'm going to use a hand file and do my normal filing routine. So side walls, then we're going to do the cuticle over the top, my normal filing routine. I'm going to go over with a white block, smoothing that out. So you can see you've got a sparkly underside to the nail. It's like a surprise. So you could leave it like that, but obviously we're not. We're going to use this colour. UGGPF0487. I'm going to do two coats of this. On the full nail. Pop that in the lamp. I'm going to top coat this now with the new Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Top Coat. This can be used over the top of acrylic as well. It's got no sticky layer. So that's all cured now. Sorry, I've just got flashed out again. Phew, 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 phew. So these ribbons that everybody wears, um, the different colours mean different things. Um, the pink one is breast cancer, um, but the lilac one means all cancers. So that's the one we're going to do today. So I've still kept it pretty with the pink background and obviously the sparkly underneath. What we're going to do now is we are going to make a ribbon out of gel polish. I'll show you how to do it. So using the Urban Graffiti Gel Polish Top Coat, going to do a rectangle or an oblong shape. You need to make sure there's no little holes with the res. You need to tickle the gel in that area and get it as even as you can. Pop that into the lamp. Now that's cured. On top of that, I'm going to put a lilac gel polish. I'm going to show you the colour of it in a minute, the number, so you know which one it is. Putting that directly over the top. And I'm going to do two coats of this, curing each layer. Cure that. 
Now we're going to put a top coat on that now as well. So it's going to be shiny both sides. So we're going to peel that off the backing. And it's flexible. So what we're going to do now is cut strips. Just want to get a nice edge first. So you've got your strips, and what we're going to do, we're going to get them across and over like your bow, or ribbon, and then you're going to cut them, cut the tails at this angle. You have your bow like that, you could do a few of them. I like to do a few of them just so I can pick the best one. I think I'm going to use this one. Um, then what I'm going to do is get the brush on glue. Cross them over. I'm going to get the brush on glue and pop that just underneath there. The pink one that I did earlier. That blue Peter. <laughs> Here's one I made earlier. So we're going to use the purple one. We're going to fit this to the nail. First of all, I'm going to glue it into place and then I will add a little bit of acrylic. Hey, stop moving. Put that aside a little bit and I'm going to get clear acrylic. And drop that inside. Keep it open. So just make sure it makes contact with the nail and the ribbon. Then I'm going to pop a little bit under the tail here. I'm just making sure it's not going to just fall off. And then what I'm going to do is put some stones on and some pearls. Now with Mega Gloss. Not open that for a while. Just put some on. That backing paper just make it easy for me to pick up, really. I'm going to pop some in the corner here. And that's where we're going to sit the stones. Gonna pop that into the lamp and cure that. And then with the mega gloss, I'm just gonna seal over the pearls. Pop that in and cure. I'm gonna finish off with a bit of cuticle oil, a bit of coconut. Coconut oil. Cuticle oil, not coconut oil that everybody's getting crazy about at the minute. It's like everything. Uh, coconut oil's good for everything. Everything. Fixes everything. Fixes everything. <clears throat> Put it in your hair, on your skin, cook with it, do everything with it. No, this is coconut cuticle oil. <laughs> Designed for cuticles. So there you are. That's the finished result. That's the World Cancer Day inspired nail, just for you, with a little bit of gel polish and a bit of bling. And of course, that sneaky little glitter underneath. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope it, I'll help you do lots of other things with gel polish. Don't forget, the products we've used today are in the description box below. Give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye. Douche. <laughs>
This is why I should use natural beige. So it doesn't want to get used, does it? We'll clean that up in a minute. Hi everybody, I'm Kirsty Meakin from Nail Nails. In this video, we are going to do a cancer ribbon thing. <laughs> Look at me, look at the camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do it again? Yeah. 